comes the field for tonight's 10th race. Exact and trifecta wagering, field of nine. Number one is Honey Bun Osborne, owned by Herbie Brown, driven by Doug Routsong. Number two is Amy Q, with a late driver change to Mike Wilder. Three is Noble Jewel, owned by John Legro with Jim Lewis. Four, Mary Maker, owned by Russell Hare and James Woodruff, Ryan Holton aboard. Five is Eden Eyes, owned by Ralph Sexton and Francis Thomas. Darren Mauser will be in the bike. Six is Tootin' Scootin', owned by Howard Wallace with Randy Tharps. Seven is Ellen's Pick, owned by Ellen and Mike Havens with Del S. Miller. Eight, eight is Sassy Abu, owned by Mary Wolf, Kim Godfrey, and Larry Coder with Brett Merkel. And number nine is Hills War Feather, owned by Tony Weir. Jeff Fout will be in the sulky. That's the field for tonight's 10th race. Mike Wilder driving to Amy Q. Six minutes till post time. Feel for tonight's 10th race at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Amy Q between horses takes the lead. Ellen's pick is up on the far outside, and Honey Bun Osborne maintains her spot along the rail. They're down the back stretch. Noble Jewel gets away fourth. Mary Maker to the turn in fifth. After that, Eden Eye, followed by Tootin Scootin, Sassy Abu, and Hills Warfeather. As they move to the quarter mile pole, here's Ellen's pick up on the outside, trying to reach the early pace setter. Amy Q, Amy Q's got the top, rolling by the quarter in 28 and 2. Too deep past the stance from the outside, Ellen's pick looks for the lead. Ellen's pick goes the brutal, three eighths of a mile, she'll never see the front. Under the finish line the first time, Amy Q is fighting back. Amy Q and Ellen's pick the long shot, slug this one up. Here's Mary Maker up on the outside, she'll join the fray from third. Around the clubhouse turn, Honey but Osborne skims the rail in fourth. Driving up on the outside, here comes Eden Eyes to fifth. Toward the rail, Noble Jewel is sixth. Racing seven, Tootin' Scootin' eighth on the outside, Sassy Abu and Hills Warfeather. They're at the half in 58 and four. They're out of the turn and down the backstretch. Amy Q has faced and met every challenge. She's got a big one now because Mary Maker is on the attack. Honey but Osborne gaining back along the pylons. Here's Eden Eyes up on the outside. Noble Jewel looks to shake loose. Ranging up on the far outside, Sassy Abu. Tootin' Scootin' giving way after a brutal mile. Ellen's pick, ninth on the rail, Hills Warfeather. They're all together here in 127 and four. Moving around the far turn. Three parts of a length for the every step pace setter, Amy Q. Mary Maker with her pacing shoes on comes down the middle of the racetrack. Ranging up on the far outside, Eden Eyes. This one is wide open now. Mary Maker with a short lead. Amy Q, Eden Eyes. Mary Maker's going to get there. In the winner's circle, Mary Maker, four-year-old Bay Mare by Tudor Scooter out of Joanna's time. Owned by trainer Russell Hare and co-owner James Woodward of Groveport. Driven tonight by Ryan Holton to a hard-earned victory in 157-2. Number four, Mary Maker, the winner. <laughs> 